Welcome to Wednesday Inspiration Now. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. We're looking at Philippians on the joy of God. In chapter 1, verse 1, the Paul writes to church in Philippi, the Paul Timothy, the servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons. And grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Paul is writing to the saints at Philippi. The saints, it doesn't mean they are sinless. It doesn't mean they are perfect. But it's the holy people saved by God, anointed by God, as separated from sin and from the world and set aside for His purpose And that's what it means by holy. And that's what God calls us saints, even though we are not worthy to be called saints, yet because by God's grace, we set aside for His purpose, for His love, and that's why we are called ourselves saints. And the Paul is writing the saints, the holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi. And look at his greetings in verse 2. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. What a rich and blessed greeting this is. The Paul is giving to church in Philippi two things. The grace and peace to you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It talks about grace how important the grace is. The grace means a giving of favor to those who do not deserve. And this is how God gave His grace over us. Ephesians 2.8 says, It is by grace we have been saved. We are saved by grace of God and that grace shown on the cross how Jesus gave Himself for us. When we do not deserve anything, He gave His life so that we may have a life. It is by grace we have been saved. And that's why Paul says, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, he says, By the grace of God, I am what I am. It is really grace of God that I am what I am. And the Bible tells in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, that we grow in grace. And that's why the Hebrew chapter 4, verse 16 says, Let us then approach to God's throne of grace with a confidence so that we may receive mercy and find the grace to help us in our time of need. The grace of God, when we meet God of grace, how crucial, how essential, how powerful the grace of God is in our lives. And that's how Paul finished this letter of Philippians. At the end of last verse in 4.23, he says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. The grace that is given to all of us. Grace to you from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Secondly, Paul talks about peace. It is important that we have grace of God, then we begin to have the peace of God. Colossians chapter 120 says, By making peace through his blood shed on the cross, he made a peace to us. That through the blood of Jesus Christ, we have peace with God. And this God of peace telling us that I'll give you peace. John 14, 27, my peace I give you. It's a peace the world cannot give. It's a peace the world cannot understand. My peace I give you. After resurrection, as Jesus appeared to the disciples, he was shouted for the first greeting, peace be unto you. Shalom, peace be with you. And that's why the Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, 
The Paul says, "The peace of God, which transcends all our understanding, will guard your heart and guard your mind in Christ Jesus." The peace of God transcends all our understanding. Though we know where we are, and God knows what we are going through, but peace of God covers all and grants us His peace. Guarding our minds and our hearts in the time like this, what a beautiful and needed blessings and greetings to our lives, grace and peace to you, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I have a friend, and the wife's name is Grace, and the husband's name is Peace. Grace and peace, grace and peace to you, from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. The peace and grace coming from Father and our Lord will enrich us with His blessing, even today. The grace and peace to you, from our Father. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for your grace and your peace that is transcending all our understandings, that is the meeting all our needs in the time of our needs. O oh Lord, we pray that your peace. And your grace overpowers us, and it comes through for us, O、oh、God. That our cup overflows with joy, because of your grace and your peace. May we live a life with you, that we may continually dwell in the grace of God and the peace of God. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.